You know you're better at this than I am? Hey, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> hey, boy, come on, bring it in. Come on, on double, on double, let's go. <clears throat> All right, take a knee. <clears throat> Everyone. Now, I know a lot of the talk lately has been you better win or else. That's not true. What you need to do is focus. Focus on playing hard and playing smart. That's it. I say you're driving across country. Now, you ain't gonna do 3,000 miles in a minute. You gotta drive within the headlights. Not worry about what's in front of you. And the next thing you know, you're gonna find success. Because the next thing you know, you're gonna be in California. Drive within the headlights. You know what? I like that. I like that a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me hear focus on three. Go home and get some rest. One, two, three. Focus. Go home and get some rest. No, no just focus. Go home. Scoot over. Let me do this. Oh, you can add photos? Yes. This whole time? This whole time. Look it. Drag and drop. Save math. Explaining social sure. media to people who don't. Let's drive within those headlights. That's right. Is gonna call the same plays Hank always has? Ah, of course he is, Cal. I love Colt, but he's not the brightest kid. He's not the brightest bulb in the bucket. You know, we should be saying, seeing plenty of fullback dives, quarterback draws, maybe a halfback toss in there. I mean, it ain't gonna get crazy. You're not gonna see those razzle-dazzle plays you see in the NFL. First and ten, nice long drive so far. Dylan in the shotgun. And incomplete. Now we got a second down coming. You go to that meeting the other night, Randy? Sure did. And I was proud of Geese for standing up to his dad. I mean, that took guts, now, Cal. As Hank has always said, this town needs a spark, right? And that there might have been it. Those boys are right. Football is family. I think you're on to something there, Cal. Uh, maybe. You know, you're my family. Randy, do you have an update on the stadium funding? Why, yes, I do, Cal. Coach sister Loretta has started a fundraising webpage for the stadium. We're doing our part two starting in the second half tonight. We'll be taking calls live on the air. Any donation helps no matter how little it is, folks. Now think of it as a stadium telethon. And what is that number, Randy? Oh, it's just my cell number. I'm guessing everyone still has that number from when I gave it out on the air last time. All right, folks, it's time for Randy's fan site segment. Woo! What have you got this uh -huh. week, Randy? Well, folks, I broke down the job Colt did as a coach last week, and I have some intel from a source in the Texans organization. A source? Uh-huh, my cousin Charlie. He's in waste management there. Oh, crying out loud. No, 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 he's inside source. Anything else on the fan side? Oh, yeah, Cal, I, I added a new poll. Nobody voted on it, though, except for me. See, my nephew Ricky tells me I need to increase traffic to the site. That's what they say, increase traffic. Hopefully, Devin gets a chance to play in one of these upcoming games, and that'll get those people on the web to visit. I'm excited. Yeah. You gonna go? You gonna vote? I'm holding my breath. Hey there, Cal. So, uh, you know, I told you about that woman I was thinking of asking out. Tammy? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I asked her out, and she said yes. Well, uh, I mean, good. Great. Yep. Yeah. We went on our first date last night. Well, uh, I'll tell you more in a second. And this will be caught inside the 10. 
So this new offense here seems to be working, huh? Yeah, I've got to admit, it's out there, but they're having success with it. You know, maybe Colt is exactly what this team needed. Now, of course, we'll always miss Hank, and I'll always miss Hank. He was there for the greatest moments of my life there, Cal, as you know. But maybe, maybe it's time for a change. Almost. We'll see how the rest of this game plays out. Man, that was a close call, Cal. From the nine, here's second and goal. On second down, it's old Foxy with the carry. And that's a nice run, Randy. There you go. At least you got some positive yardage after that incompletion. Gonna have the six here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run it right in with Fox. Touchdown! what we needed. Oh, oh. Now, I t I'm a little scared those plays coach calling, but maybe a little excited too, Cap. If I'm being honest, kind of have both feelings going on in me right now. Buckle up, Rhino. Ooh. Final drive here down 40 to 35 in a barn burn. Our offense is smoking, Cal. Come on, now, we got this. I'm already getting ready for next week's game. What do you think of Colt's new offense so far, Randy? Well, I'll tell you, Cal, it's a little progressive for my taste. You know me, I hate progressive. They got one formation that looks like the shotgun, but it ain't. That's the pistol formation. Yeah, yeah, it is. See, I I'm old school, Cal. I hate progressive stuff. I don't like this new stuff. Not one bit. Don't be progressive on my watch. All right, back to the meeting the other night. Do we have any shot at all to raise this money? I don't know. My nephew Ricky says it's easy. The $250,000 a lot of money. I don't know if the people in this town have that much combined. Yeah, well, we just got to keep on winning and let the kids worry about raising the money. With what, Cal? Bake sale? Car wash? Come on. It's going to be impossible. You know what I mean? What car you got to wash to get 250 large? Oh, dang it. And what, what in the world just happened? It should have been automatic against this Skidmore defense. They can't stop a nosebleed. No, Come on. Yeah. Gotta redo it. Yep. Wait a minute, what is that formation? Randy, do you ever watch any football besides Mets? I sometimes watch Longhorns. I hate to, though. Kind of feel like I'm cheating on my bullfrog. All right, so tell me more about this Tammy. Well, Cal, I took her to dinner last night at the all-you-can-eat buffet in Corpus and spared no expense. Let her order an appetizer and a soda. No water for her, no sorry. Randy, it's a buffet. Why do you need an appetizer? Well, uh, uh you know, that that's a good point, Cal. It's a good point. Don't know if I got an answer for you. I thought it was an appetizer at the time, but looking back, I was mistaken. You know, when, oh, when you're a star, you can just walk oh, up to a buffet and grab an appetizer and they're going to let you. They'll let you do it? Yeah, absolutely. You just grab anything, Reach right? Reach right in there and grab it. Yep. Holy Christmas, Wendell, just, that enough. has to be more than 40 yards. Not, can you believe that? That, man, that, 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 that kid's Come a truck. Now. He's a truck down the field. Yeah. He's just running downfield the whole way. Oh, wait a second, Cal. I'm getting our first telephone call. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, ma'am. No, no, I, I mailed it. It's in the mail. No, I, I, I understand. No, I... Randy, don't hang, turn it, Randy, don't turn Randy it hang up the I'm, phone. All right, we're sorry about that, folks. Bill collectors, <laughs> golly, most. Now, that was never going to work. That's for sure. Need to get more creative with the plays we're calling. Come on, coach. Get with it. He's dropped for a loss back at his own three-yard line. Now, what went wrong there? You see, he just wasn't ready mentally. You got to visualize your objective, according to Ross Fountain, Cal. Third and goal from the three. It's who wants it more time, Cal. Touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown. That's Touchdown. Right. That is right! That is right! Come on! And that should see oh, the Rhino. I tell you, Cal, this win just became real, real important. Cal, we're we're gonna have to win the next two now. I take it one. No, like this. Uh, I'm trying. Here. Mm. Please, please, please donate if you can. It'll feel good. Once. Come on, it will. Donate.
Alright. Alright, folks, Mathis comes back out and well, wait a dang minute here. Wendell Chase is back at quarterback. What in tarnation? Dylan must be hurt. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but I sure hope Colt has some tricks up his sleeve. This defense is no joke. First and ten for the Bullfrogs. Blue tent. Blue tent. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47th. Going backwards at this point. Yeah, they shut that run down. That's a bad call, coach. Second in a mile Blue for Mathis. Blue ten. Blue ten. He's gonna throw. To the left side, it's Willie Pryor. Randy, what's been happening with Devin lately? He been seeing the field at all in the NFL? Well, he got some reps in the preseason, but I think he's still just doing scout Blue work for the Texans. Not Blue sure when he'll be on TV again. Oh, man. You know, I thought he'd be on the field more. He sure was. And the block is on the run! Go, Gilbert! Touchdown! All the way! Touchdown! Touchdown, Bullfrogs! Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! Wendell Chase comes through in a big way on the road, Randy. He charged in. Now, you got to give credit to Coach stop. Bruce. Keep them out of the end zone here, and we win this game. Give me the quarter Bruce. again. I have to. I need you out there. I want you on 88 all the time. Coach, he's all district. He's like six inches taller than you. I don't care if he shoots lasers out of his butt. You ain't no football dummy. Stay on it. Now, let's go out there, and let's bring this game home. I believe in you guys. Go! Let's go! Let's go, boys! One final drive for the Rancho Banchetti Rattlers. We hold them here, and we come away with the win. Hey, uh, Cal, yeah, I've ever yeah, told you that. Zip it, Randy. i got to stay focused here. They'll start the drive with first and ten. He'll throw. They set up the screen. That's complete. And that play's going to go nowhere. Actually losing some yardage back near... Midfield, right about 49. I hate calling screens when you don't need to. Just overthinking it. Come on. He's going to throw. Quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll find a little space, but the defense brings him down. Hey, uh, Cal. I heard a rumor last night from uh, Walt Perensky. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Derek McCarlos, who is an amazing sponsor, by the way, has already finished the designs for the new merged stadium. Walt had a business meeting with him and saw the stadium model on his desk. He what? Yep. Ain't looking good, Cal. Not one bit. Man, that play was a backbreaker. Come on, third down, and we had him. Then they get to completion. New set of down. Dang it. Dead coming! He'll throw. And that was almost a completion, yes. but he drops it. How are the donations coming? Just check the website. Not great. I'll give them the red end months of credit, though. Their hearts are in it. Gonna need a lot more than heart to raise that money, Randy. We need, we need another miracle. Amen. He's gonna throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. All right, let's go back to Devin and the old NF of L. It's realistic, Randy. What do you think his chances are of being a full-time starter up there? How should I know? You run the man's fan side, though. I do. What's that mean? I mean, just because I call myself the Nostradamus of Mathis don't mean I can predict the future, Cal. Come on now. He'll throw. Going short here. That's complete to his tight end. That was one heck of a stand by the Bullfrogs defense. Man, Cal, they look like the 85 Bears. Man, oh, man. So the streak continues, but next week's is crucial. And it's against Beeville. Oh, no. Seriously, Beeville? See
If you pledge $100, you will receive two tickets to the Bullfrog's final home game and a jar of Lanny Munz's homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, man. Lanny. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> you gotta try this. Come here. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hello. Yeah, sure, I can do that. See you then. <laughs> Would you like some lemonade? Uh, I had the lemons flown in from Argentina. Easier now with the band lifted. <laughs> sure. Oh, please. So why did you call me here? <laughs> right to business. <laughs> A man after my own heart. <laughs> well, first, I want to congratulate you on your success. Hmm. Well, we are three and four now. One went away from fending off that merger, so. That's great. That's great. So, money's raised? Uh, not yet. Still got a little ways to go, but we're winning, and the town has given every penny they can, so I'm confident. Oh, nice. So, you're ready to sign the contract? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a cross that bridge when we get to it situation. Right now, I'm just focused on Beeville. Oh. And they're 7-1, so there are no guarantees there. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Which brings me to the reason I wanted to meet. I wonder what it is that Colt Cruz wants. Colt Cruz wants to beat Beeville, raise a ton of money, fend off that merger, and then the world is my oyster. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, with your best friend in the NFL, I can't help but wonder, shouldn't Cold Cruz be there too? The NFL? Yeah, but uh... Have you yeah. heard of um, Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, I've heard of Jerry Jones, <laughs> Mr. Guzman. Yeah. Well, as a Texas builder, you can imagine I have some connections to him. I'd be very happy to make a call. I get what you're saying. I should follow my dreams. Exactly. So I'll be out of your way. No, Cole. I'm saying follow your dreams so we'll thrive. <laughs> See, this winning has been fun. But it creates distraction, not industry. You don't think I see it, but I know exactly who you are. Taking down portraits of all the bullfrog greats, taking down portraits of Hank. Oh, Colt, times change. You're not gonna erase the past. No, but you can look to the future. <laughs> that lemonade sucks. <laughs> With Watson out and Jones shaken up, it appears that we are going to see the NFL debut of rookie Devin Wade. Absolutely unbelievable, partner, because two months ago, we saw Devin right, Wade Devin play, Wade. and we thought he might be cut. Set, but think queen. about now, since Longshot, where he did struggle with a number of things, that time he spent with Coach Earl Coates has really paid off for him. Intercepted, oh. and that'll be the end of this drive. This is a real lift for a defense. It's been a long drive, and you're starting to drag a little bit out there. Been pushed back, pushed back, and now instead of caving in, here's the play you were waiting for. And the interception means 
That long drive is going to yield nothing for the offense. Here we go again with the offense. Charles, what do you expect from Coach Cower and the Texans here? Do they try to cater to what Devin Wade does best? It's always a good idea. Get your quarterback Set. comfortable, make him Red feel 24. like he's really into the game. So I would expect a little more play action passing because I think they can beat the Cowboys defense if, and it's a big if, if they can avoid the pass rushers. Play action slows them down a little bit. It gives Devin a few more seconds to find people downfield. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Back to throw. Blade hauled in by Anderson left side. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of six there on first. You know, each game I have a storylines index card in front of me, and I'm going through everything that Houston has altered this year. They've been a lot of changes for the Texans, haven't there? Yeah, changes, surprises. Think about the shocking trade for Antonio Brown. Didn't anticipate that getting him from Pittsburgh. Bill Cowher, speaking of Pittsburgh, takes over as the interim head coach. Now they're down to their third-string quarterback. I called a friend of mine who's a terrific fiction writer, and I offered him this scenario. He wouldn't touch it. <laughs> you can't write a script like this. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion. And this is taken in at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A good, solid drive there for Devin Wade and the Houston Texans. I felt like he was up in the booth with us, you know, like sitting right here. He took our advice, didn't try to do too much, stayed within himself, made the plays he needed to make, and I thought he looked pretty darn good doing it. It's amazing for what he's going through. He does appear really confident. This is probably the last shot for Devin Wade and the Texans. And, hey, what an opportunity. You're down for your first regular season NFL action and a chance to get a game-winning drive. And what feels like a pressure situation really isn't. A lot less than what people expect. No one expects him to win the game here. Just continue to play loose and have fun. On first down, Wade. Allington has it, middle of the field. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. From midfield, here's Devin Wade. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route. Intercepted. Ah, Not a great decision by Devin. This drive is over. Boy, you hate that for Devin Wade, Charles. He had some good throws in this game, but you just feel like that last one is going to linger. You're exactly right. And in this moment, you wonder just what you said. How does he regroup from that? But let's go hey, see. Devin, you got a second? Yeah, coach. Let's come in. Let's, I'm going to talk to you for a second. Now, I could go on and on about why this game matters or what this game could mean to you in your future or how many people in this town are going to buy you ice cream for a month if we win, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to simplify it for you because it is simple. Get that. I am going to simplify it for you because it is simple. What? I'm trying to coach a game in here. Hey, sorry to interrupt, fellas. Yeah. Uh, you mind if I come in for a second? No, come on. Get your butt in here. It's just uh, I brought some friends, too, so if they could come I, in, too. I don't care who you brought. Just get them in here quick. I got a game to coach. All right, coach. Fellas. <clears throat> yeah, just some friends. Cokers. Cokers. Coach Cowell. I mean, uh, Cokers. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're Deshaun Watson. I sure am. And he's Antonio Brown. What's up, little man? I want to cover you one day. <laughs> Let him laugh. I'll stay healthy, so you'll get your chance. <laughs> Look, guys, we just wanted to come down and say, hey, lend our support. Uh, it's, it's a big game for you guys, and uh, Coach Carroll was generous enough to give us the day. So uh, you guys get after him out there. You guys good for autographs out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Good luck tonight, Cole. Uh, Mr. Uh, Coach uh, Cower, uh, Bill, uh, would you... Uh, you know how big this game is, right? I, I do. I, and because of that, would you mind uh, saying a couple hey, words? You got this. No, I mean... you. 
I got You're it. You. I, I got it. I got it. Good. Got Thank it. you. Um, okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to just talk to you guys tonight. Um, you know, Colt and Devin, um, they're you. They came from here. And what they represent are people that never forgot where they came from. And the opportunity that you have tonight is you are part of a game that's more than a game. Yes, I want you to go out there. I want you to play hard. I want you to play smart. I want you to play physical and play together. But what you represent is more than the bullfrogs. You represent a community, Mathis. And you know what you're going to show them tonight? It's about resiliency. What you represent tonight is spirit. If you get knocked down, you get back up. And you show what a community can do when you all come together. That's the opportunity you have tonight. That's the responsibility you have tonight. And I couldn't be more proud and more excited to watch a group of young men bring a community back together. Kick some butt tonight. Go Bullfrogs. Well, there's one of the benefits of having a coach with some NFL connections, huh? <laughs> I want to hear Mathis on three. One, two, three. Mathis. Mathis. Let's go, baby. Woo! Hey, Colt, you know Devin's not here to bail you out tonight, right? Oh, what a weirdo. Do you guys have history? You don't even want to know. Mario? Hey, man, why don't you stop yapping and get ready for the game? Get ready for what? You? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love the coaching staff, Colt. What you stealing from, choir? Oh! Okay, we're done. Good oh. luck tonight, Mario. Okay. <clears throat> you really gonna let him say that stuff? That's just Mario. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Don't let him get in your head. Trust me on that. No mercy rule tonight, bro. But hey, I might take some of your plays and add them to my playbook after the merger, huh? Well, Randy, here we go. The big showdown with B-Bill. Oh, man. We don't win this. We might be playing on their field next season. Yuck. Man, hey, you see who their coach is? Freaking Mario Gonzalez. Really? I can't see that far anymore. Cal, you will act like this is 18 t Stadium. We're maybe 10 rows up. Randy, it's a dang joke. I'm calling the play-by-plays. Of course, I can see the dang field. What a crazy season so far, eh, Randy? Or has been. We started out one of the worst teams in district. Oh, and now we have a shot at the playoffs. Yep. I've never seen anything like it. Me neither. Hashtag blessed. Oh, God. Oh. <coughs> what is this stuff? Lemonade. <coughs> Courtesy of our main sponsor, <coughs> Cal. Makes himself deliver oh. six gallons before this, kickoff. This is awful. You're saying Carlos Guzman makes this? Yep. I can't take this anymore. I don't, I don't care if he sponsors us or not. Throw it out. Okay. No, 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 Randy, Randy, no. Oh. Uh -oh. You asked me to throw it out. Uh -oh. Whoops. My bad. On second down, it's Wendell with the carry. Good gain right there, and it'll be a bullfrog first down. Coming up next, Randy's fan site update. Brought to you by Jerry's Vacuum Cleaner Shop. Thanks, Cal, and thanks, Jerry. Obviously a huge update this week, as everyone knows Devin, he saw his first NFL action against the Cowboys when their starter went down with an injury in the third quarter. Hold on, hold on, Randy. we got to run a play here. we got a special giveaway coming up next, folks. Yep. Uh, Randy, yeah. what's the prize? Well, why, thanks for asking. Didn't think you'd do that. It's very, very special. You want to know what it is, Cal? I certainly do, Randy. Never ask. It's an internship to my fan side. Well, I'm giving away an internship. No kidding, an internship, huh? Are yep. you, uh, you gonna be paying the lucky winner here? Paid in experience, Cal. Yep. That person will be paid in valuable experiencing. Mm-hmm. Third down, Dylan the throw. 
And dropped? Almost a pick. So we come up short on a drive where we ought to had us a score. See, that's disappointing. That's just a bad mix of poor play calling, sloppy execution. I have a bad feeling about this game, Cal. No. Oh, keep it pop. Here we go. First and ten and a new drive. They'll start the drive with a carry by Fox. Not too much room to maneuver that time. Short gain on that play. Hey, you watched that Aggie game the other night, Cal? They lost to SF Hay by two touchdowns. What are you watching the Aggies for? You know that ain't allowed. I know, I know, but it was the only game on. And they choked again. <laughs> again. Nice little completion there for the Bullfrogs. Hey, out there in Mathis land, if you have a sec, check out my newly updated Devin Wade fan site. I just wrote a new blog last night. It's all about the first time I met Devin. It's powerful stuff, Cal. Ooh, I bet it is. Nice pickup, and that'll be a first down. That helps, huh? Nice. Oh, nice. yeah, nice. big first down. Now, if I was the coach, I'd run track routes underneath all day long. Now, teams have a tough time stopping them, especially high school nice. teams. All right, no. first and ten. First down carry for Gil Fox. And he got what he needed for a Mathis first down. These poor secondary are going to spend some time in the ice bath tomorrow. They ain't getting any help from these linebackers running right by them. They'll keep it on the ground with Fox. They get him down right around the 35-yard line. Short gain on the run. Cal got me a new gig on Saturday afternoons. I'm the voice of the Mathis Pee Wee Football League, calling every single game. Well, hey, big step up for you, Rhino. Just doing play-by-play? -play? And some color. You know, talk about a kid's favorite food, maybe who his favorite superhero is, that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to be pretty good. Me and the kids relate. I'm on their level. They'll run it with Fox. He's tackled down there, but the Bullfrogs get the first. Can't argue yeah, with that result. And a boy, first down! First and ten. And they'll keep it on the ground with Wendell this time. And they're gonna bring him down after just a short pickup. Not a bad run there. Folks, we have a red pickup with his... Jerry, come on now. That is enough. Every Friday night for the last five years, this has got to stop. It ain't rock science. It ain't rocket surgery. I mean, just turn the knob and shut your lights off. Man, you get out of the truck. What's wrong with your head there, Jerry? Come on. Dang. Defense looks like they expected him to throw it here. Still in the throw on third down. To the left yes. side, it's really fire. And he's able to get this one up to a couple yards shy of the 10. There we go. There we go. It's right about time. Fast Wheelie Pryor starts getting first downs for us. First and goal from just outside the seven-yard line. Touchdown! Touchdown! Go Bullfrogs! <laughs> so the Bullfrogs strike first and take a seven-and-nothing lead. Good! We get on the board, put some pressure on the Bearcats. Nice job, guys! Headed into halftime with the Bullfrogs down by seven. What do we need to happen on this drive, Randy? A stop. We got to stop them. Last thing we need in this game is going to half down 14 points. Now, come on, D. Brand new drive, first and 10. Let's see what they do. And a short gain that time. All right, Cal, I got you covered. I got some sweet tea to wash down that lemonade. Whoa, thank you. You know who's here? <laughs> A whole bunch of NFL players. Devin, Antonio Brown, Deshaun Watson, and freaking Bill Cowher! Well, from, from the Texas, I... How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. All right, so we'll take the ninth call. Are you still talking about that internship, Randy? I mean, it sounds just a little funny. What? How is that a prize? How is that a prize? Are you kidding? They get to work the official Devin and Colt fan side. Writing articles, answering emails, you name it. Yeah, sounds like a blast. Sure is. 
Boy, did we need that stop on defense. I tell you, this team has surprised me all year, Cal. Just when you think they might fold, they step up, make a stand. That was great defense on that drive. Amen. Hey, just as we expected right now, this game is getting tight here. Middle of the third quarter, and we are tied at 14. Yeah, now this is a perfect time to swing the momentum. We score on this drive, Cal. I feel a whole lot better. Oh, me too. A start out on the ground with Fox. And a solid gain on the run. Good start. All right, run. back to Devin. How'd he do? Well, you have to read the fan side, Cal. Everyone else has to do that, too. Cal, have you even seen it? Now, come on. I mean, did you even watch the game? Devin played the whole second half. What were you doing? Working on a puzzle with your wife? Boring stuff like that? Hey, what? Jeez, this is Devin oh, we're hey, talking hey, about. Hey, this hey, is hey, Devin. Hey. Oh, dang it. Big stop for the defense. Yeah, that kid is strong. Like Rhino Strong. I know Strong. And Keon Moore gets another one right there over the middle. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got first down. They keep running that zone, Cal. So those are routes that you want to run. Go across the field, find a spot, make the catch. Good work, boys. Let's go, Bullfrogs. What are they going to do? And this run picks up a nice little chunk. So I'm guessing you're going to have a special guest on the halftime show tonight, huh? Oh, oh I ain't going to spill it yet. Not going to spill the beans, but if you're a Bullfrogs fan and an NFL fan, well, you better be tuning in. That's huh. all I can say. Okay, it sounds pretty exciting. Hey, uh, uh, Cal, uh, uh, you mind? I just want to say hello to a couple of special fans I met at the diner last oh, night. Right ahead. Uh, Roger and Bernice Algermis. They're big Bullfrog fans. Their son Guthrie, he'll be a freshman next year at Methods and can't wait to put on a Bullfrog uniform. Well, you don't say. Good for him. All right. Now can we get to watching the game and telling the people what's happening? Did we ever leave doing that? On second down, it's old Foxy with the carry, and he'll lose yardage on the play. Back at the 45-yard line. Looks about right. I can't see his number, but whoever that was, that was a great tackle by that kid. Who? I, what? Okay. And he drops it. Damn it. Well, that ain't gonna help at all. We failed to get anything on that drive, and the game's dead. They'll start the drive with first and ten. They'll start the drive with a carry by Fox. And they finally get him up past the 35-yard line. Hey, uh, Cal, you know anything about uh, analytics? I can't say I do, Randy. Something to do with a guy sitting around a computer printing out stats, doing analyzing of them, all that? Uh-huh. And where'd you hear about that? My nephew saw it on TV. That thing that boy watches, I'm telling you. I don't get it. Well, that'll help. Every little bit counts. Now the Bullfrogs with one yard to first. Here's second down. And this one goes nowhere, losing yardage on the play. Back around the 46. Trying to keep this long drive going here. Third and two. And they go with Wendell. Breaks the tackle. And he will have the first with a solid gain right there. And there goes Wendell right up the gut for a, a whole big chunk of yard Man, there. Man, I'll tell you, I'd love to see I'd love to see that, Cal. I love that running up the gut. First down, here's Wendell. We just couldn't get much of a push up front on that run. No wonder. Cal, you see the size of our offensive linemen? I mean, these kids should be playing soccer, lacrosse, volleyball. I mean, come on. I think our biggest kid is Jared Gomez at 250 pounds. That ain't going to cut it in this new district. And he breaks yeah. away. Oh, oh yeah! Bullfrog Touchdown! Does score! Touchdown, Bullfrog! Touchdown! Woo! Yeah! That's oh. what the doctor ordered, yes. Randy. The big score, and we take the lead. You again. said it, Cat. Love the play calling on that drive. Everybody stepped up. We got some momentum going. Well, this year game is in danger of getting out of hand if we let Beeville extend their lead here. Uh, seriously, Cal. Right, here what the heck happened there? We had a 21-14 lead a second ago, and Beeville just went off. Mm, yeah. We have to slow them down here. He's going to throw. That one will fall incomplete, and it will bring us to second down. So, Randy, how's the job going? Well, I'm actually currently between employment opportunity. 
I'm doing some gigs. You know, some side stuff. Pet sitting, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm sorry, people, people actually let you Sack. watch their pets? Yes, they do. Oh, those pets love me, they do. It's a, it's an honorable profession. And the bullfrogs are knocking for a loss on that play, Randy. Boom! Right D, Cal. He'll throw. He's gonna find his man out of the backfield. That's right on the numbers, and it is complete. Now that was a great defensive drive. Huge, Cal. We're back in this thing, but time's running out. We can't waste any more opportunities on offense. Let's go, fellas. Listen, guys, listen. Right, here we go. I know I'm new to Mathis, but this is the first time in my life I feel like I have a home. I'm not going to lose this team. Lucas, I'm beating your man all game. Get ready. Got you. We're going to march down this field and win this game. Let's go. Not for us, but for this entire town. Yeah. This is our time. Yeah. Let's be bullfrogs. Yeah. All right. This is the play. Going shotgun. 31. Drag out. Post. Ready? Right. Well, here we go. As we expected, this one has been back and forth all night. Mathis has one final drive left to steal the win away from Beeville. Screw this up. We'll be wearing Beeville t-shirts next year. God, now why? I refuse to. I'll go shirtless. <laughs> that might kill the merger right there, Brandis. <laughs> that is genius. As Randy and I talked about off the air, Devin has a big, big game coming up against the Patriots. Yep. Anything on the fan side about that? Of course. I have a preview of his first NFL start and a prediction like I've been doing for all the Bullfrogs games. Can't get content anywhere else like that. Score prediction. Every sports site on the internet has them. Well, come on now, Cal. You know they aren't as connected to the game of football as I am. I bring a very special type of expertise to my predict. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there and done that. Yeah, uh huh. That's right. On third down, here comes Fox. And he's tackled right around oh, the 25-yard line. So, we'll come up. Here we go. First and ten and a new drive. First down carry for Gil Fox. So, Randy, you wanted to say something? Sure did, Cal. I wanted to give a shout-out to the team back at the TV station. You know, they do such a great job on our broadcast. Yes, they do, definitely. I know that they're, they'll never show my face. It's a policy, evidently. But I love those cutting-edge graphics they give us with the shadows. Defense looks like they expecting a throw. On third down, here comes Wendell. And he's going to be taken nope, down right at the line of scrimmage. And Wendell okay. is stopped for no gain. There on it is. Gary. Man. All right, here we go. What are the Bullfrogs going to do? All right. Now Fox. He gets out of that tackle. And he'll be tackled down, but not before we get a first down. So when do we start playing Beeville? Now, if I remember correctly, we played them my junior year in the playoffs. Uh -huh. Beat them pretty badly. How bad? Oh, oh, something like 60 to 10. Think I haven't had a touchdown that game. Uh -huh. <laughs> must have been terrible. Yeah, that'll work, huh? Yes, yeah, sir, Cal. Nice play by Trey Bats. Pick up that first down. Young fella stepping up. Wendell on the carry. Oh, so close. If they keep this up, the defense won't be able to keep them off the field. Great run on first down. Second and goal from the three-yard line. They'll try to run it in with Wendell. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line, but no further. Wasn't much room to run on that one. Third and goal from the three after a wasted second down. They'll try to run it in with Wendell. Touchdown! Yes. Touchdown! Touchdown! That's right! That is right! That is right! Come on! They've done it! <laughs> they have done it! <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> gave us a chance in this game, Cal. Beeville's ranked 24. 
Sharp in the state. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. We did it. <laughs> That's how we play. Woo. That's how we do it. Go. Stop. Everybody, listen up. Hey. Listen up. <laughs> oh, man. I want each and every one of you to savor what happened tonight. Because no matter what happens out there, nobody can take this victory away from you. Got that? That's right. Woo! Now, the team, we did our part. And guess what? The town's doing theirs, too. Tonight, we raised $3,890, which is way more than anybody else thought we could ever do. And not just that, people beyond this town are giving, too. Couple that with what Devin gave and Antonio Brown kicking in another $15,000. Yeah. Man, I'll be close. All right. Now listen up, everybody. I want you to keep believing. Yes, sir. Okay? What this town is doing, what you have done, what people outside this town are doing shows that people believe in us, believe in what we do. And some people are going to tell you that this is a miracle. Well, it's not. It's not. You worked your tails off to earn this. And this is yours, and no one can take that away. To Hank! To Hank! Yeah. Hey, Munts, how are we doing on those donations? Give me a minute. I'm only one man. You account for this yet? Dang, Nabbit. Now I'll count. Hey, geese! Geese, check it out. Deshaun Watson just wrote us a check for $250,000. Everyone, we got an announcement to make. Must have ain't $250,000. I mean, it'd be a lot cooler if it was. Hey, everybody. One Derek Deshaun Watson just gave us $25,000 to Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You should all be proud. But I fear this will not end the way you guys hoped. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Still got an hour left. Yeah, plenty of time. Hey, Cope. What are you doing here, Mario? <laughs> come to catch another whooping? Yeah. Huh? I come in peace. I swear. Look. As much as we've hated you through the years, this rivalry suit us all to be better. We respect the heck out of Mathis football. So after the game, everyone and their parents threw in. Wait, what? It's, so it's only 1,300, but maybe it'll help. No, every bit helps, Mario. Thank you so much. Yeah. Tell me that don't warm your heart. Even if you only got pennies to give, show them some love. Donate now. <laughs> sure you don't want to stay? Something to eat? Something yeah. to drink? Good luck, guys. Thank you again. Thanks again. <laughs> hey, you seeing this? <laughs> wait, wait, is that for real? I think it is. Hey, guys, what's up, honey? Antonio Brown's video's gone viral. Perhaps he just retweeted it. Huh. And they just posted a YouTube video about us. What? Huh. 50K. 50 more K. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Holy smokes. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Come on, baby! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! Yeah! Oh my god! Woo! Congratulations to you all! Oh, please. Please. It is apparent you no longer need my 250,000 contribution. Come on, man, pay up. It was my dream to build a million dollar stadium in Beville, 
but my contribution will live a short of that mark. So, instead of giving 250,000, I will give 372,000 for a mega stadium right here in Mathis. <laughs> And I'm putting in charge my amazing son, Gabriel, to build that stadium. Geese! Go, go, Geese! And me. <laughs> All right, uh, enough theatrics with my old man, and uh, I know Devin wanted to come up here and say, say a couple words. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Devin? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is incredible. You know, I, I can't tell you what a great moment this is to be a part of. They say that a football team is nothing without his coach. God makes you feel like nothing is impossible, like the word doesn't even exist. So, uh, so with that, I'd like to propose a toast to Coach Colton Cruz, the man who saved the Mathis Bullfrogs football team and the richest man in town. Get up here, buddy. can I say? Um, just thank you. That's it. I think y'all have heard enough speeches from me this year. <laughs> thank you. Good night. Wait, Colt. Sing something. Absolutely not. Come on. Come on, coach. <laughs> Come on, Colt. Woo! I don't have my guitar, so oh, that coach. ain't gonna happen. What are you doing? Yeah, you know, you know. Seriously? Uh, this wasn't planned. I, I promise you, it's just this one. <laughs> um, I was inspired by someone recently uh, to write something new, so uh, I guess I could do that one for you, huh? <clears throat> oh, singing a new song. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. When I was young, I chased the sun and tried to reach the stars and tackled all of my fears. I tried so hard to hide from life and cover up my scars, searching far and wide for a place that's been right here. I thought I'd cross the county line and leave this all behind me And give my dark days to the past Well, I'd wait under the big bright lights for fame to come and find me But I lost my way, cause light moves a bit too fast I've always longed for springtime in the middle of July Or dreamt of mountaintops while standing on a pier But nothing's felt like home and now I know why Cause I'm finally here I'm finally here Yeah, I'm finally here I'm finally here <laughs> Hey, Devin, we have to head back. Colt, great job tonight. You have got a future in coaching, my friend. Let's stay in touch. Yes, sir. Thank you, coach. 
Kobe better to tear it up in the NFL, baby. Actually, you know what? For the first time, uh, I'm good here. But go out there and get it this weekend. Well, I'll be watching, all right? You got it, brother. Do us proud, baby. <sighs> what a day. talk football all day but i want to talk about devin wade the person it's a big week your first start in the nfl and you find time to go home and support your community which has been hit hard by the hurricane so tell me devin a little bit about what that trip meant to you it meant the world to me you know we're letting little towns like mathis die which means we're letting communities die now if we continue to let that happen we're only going to be torn further apart as a country when I found out the community was banding together to save the team, I knew I needed to be a part of it. I, I had to be a part of it. Just feel blessed that Coach Cowell felt the same way. It's really incredible. Help shine a light on little old Mathis. <laughs> Great stuff, Devin. I'll get you out of here with a little football, though. When I spoke to Coach Cowher, he said you can morph into virtually any style of quarterback that we see in the NFL today. So I'm asking you, who is Devin Wade, really? Well, the player I mostly get compared to is Deshaun Watson. I love his ability to extend plays and make something out of nothing. And on top of all that, he's a great guy. What he's done for me here, you know, coming to Mathis, he's, he's a special guy. Awesome. Well, I could tell you, I, for one, am looking forward to seeing you out on the field. Good luck, Devin Wade. <laughs> 